everyone, welcome to my channel. And to my subscribers, welcome back. And thank you for your ongoing support. Let's tap in with Spirit and see what Spirit has to say today. Within yourself is a sanctuary of peace. Your soul knows what it desires from this life. Your soul knows what it has to give to this life. I say to you, if you find yourself wherever you are, take a moment to find your place of peace. Peace in this world is priceless. With so much that happens on a daily basis, it is important that we take the time to pause and just be. Be grateful for another day. Be grateful for life itself and all that it brings forth. We are here at the smallest church of America located in Southeast Georgia. Listen to the bell. There is life and liberty and freedom that is available to you when you listen for the sounds of your life. Know that because of our experiences, we have certain things that we believe. And I want you to take the time to examine whether some of the things that you believe and have just believed them because of your conditioning still apply to your lives. We have to take the time to examine how we are living our lives. Are you living on purpose or are you just coasting in life? Your life seeks expression out in the world. Your life seeks to have meaning and significance. And you find that meaning and significance in serving others. So many times we are told to just look out for self. But you were not created just to look out for self. You were created to be a beacon of light, a beacon of hope for others. It does not take much to be a beacon of light. By simply sharing a smile with someone, you can brighten their day. Simply by picking up the phone and saying, hello, how are you doing? Or sending someone a text is about bringing joy to others. God knows that in our world and the state that it's in, we need to encourage one another and be a source of support for one another. People are in places of crises and we are in a position where we can help one another to thrive regardless of outward appearances. Know that there is much that is happening beneath the surface of our lives. So I challenge you to take a look at your life, not just from the perspective of what you can see, but take a look at your life from the perspective of what you can feel. We are so many times in our head and we need to move from our head to our hearts. And so know this, God is helping our world, but he needs your help. He wants us to be able to be instruments for him. We are in a position on a daily basis to help. So I say to you, take a look around 
where you are, right where you are, and see what you can do today to help make the world a better place for all of us. We are seeking to raise the vibration of the planet so that we can see better outward appearances before our very eyes. In order to do that, we must have a spiritual base. So many times we have departed from the spirituality that seeks expression through us. We are spiritual beings inside a human body, and therefore our spirits are looking to do what it is that we came to this world to do. I know that many of us have gotten off track and we have listened to so many things that are outside of ourselves. We have listened to our teachers. We have listened to our preachers. We have listened to our relatives and our friends. And we have even listened to strangers. But I say to you, when is the last time you listen to the small voice that is within you? Because in the stillness, you can hear your heart beat. And your heartbeat knows what is seeking expression through you. So I say to you, recognize here you also have open arms. God wants to open his arms and help you to have the life that he created for you to have. And God has created all of us to be his expression in the world. So I say to you, are you expressing what God has put down on the inside of you. If not, take the time to examine what your life is seeking from you and what it is that you have to give to the world. Be at peace and know that we are all interconnected. No man is an island. What impacts me impacts you, and what impacts you impacts me. And we have to recognize that we all are impacted by what happens in the world. United with our source, we can make this world a better place for all of us. Peace is available.